Welcome back to our everyday living. This is the 12 kilo front loader combo. It's an eight kilo dryer, 12 kilo um, washer. So she's a fairly big one. Now, what I was explaining is that the bearings are definitely shot. If I can get it to move, there we go. She's definitely rooted. Terminality, you know. That's what I call it, a stuffed. Um, you wouldn't wash with that. Hopefully the door seal's not broken. It's got a lot of lint in here, so we'll have to do a lot of cleaning because it's a dryer as well. I don't like these machines because when one so when something goes, like if your dryer goes and it's not working, she's a bucket machine. It does power up. That goes through all the bloody um, cycles and stuff like that. So let's tear into it find out what we're going to have to pull apart to fix this thing now I've had a gander inside of here just a gander chucked a lid on I thought geez this is going to be a mayhem thing I have had the privilege of taking the screws out of the back there so it makes it easier access and probably a quick bit quicker video they are a heavy machine so I've got a bit of help behind me get that to there it doesn't fall over what I mean by a bit of help I've got the old barra so we'll be tipping it up on its back where'd that go where did they go in there couldn't find out where they went so with the combo like the washer dryer it has the dry fan up here and it blows the heat into there so I'll probably have to take all of that off and it's a lot of rigmarole uh, these two top bars I'll probably have to take out because I've got to take all this out through the front uh, The drum's got to come out the casings got to come out and it can come apart here So once I take all of that off, it's going to be pretty easy. I reckon so we'll get to first Swap our tools over like I said, I've already had the privilege of undoing that and putting the screws back put that over there this one here, don't get confused. I'll take this off first. Went wrong way. There we go, that was Loctite on there. So I'll have to put Loctite back on it. Pull our motor off. Well, our magnet anyway. It's all we need to take off. We shouldn't need to take the, the electrics off, but we probably will anyway, because we've got to wash the drum. So, come on, off you come, off you come, it's stuck on the shaft, it's on the spline, there we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, now that's definitely bearings, so uh, yes we'll have to take that, that'll be an aluminium motor anyway, so it needs a good clean up, bit of brake clean fixes that up, got hoses over there for that as well so we'll get to while we've got that apart I've got my phone here for photos and that sort of thing put that over into that so we know where that goes uh, for when I take this off so I did I grab that one I think I did I did I did I did I did not actually but I grab a special one over here special tenor long shaft Start at the back here because once we tip it up, there's no putting it back. Right, get this working. I've got to undo that there. Document everything. I'm removing this whole thing. I'll put the screws back into that. That way we know where they're gonna go. Might not be able to see much in there. I'm struggling to see myself. Oh, 
come here. It's not playing ball with me. That into there. Get that out of the road. Disconnect that earth on there too. There now I can see. Now we can see. We'll sit that there for a second. That down there. Usually when I'm pulling these apart, I don't. I just ch chop the wire off there. But this one I want to try and repair. I don't even know whether I'll be able to get parts. So if I can't get parts, it should be uh, probably scrap anyway. But we'll see. If I can repair it, bonza. But yeah, that needs a good clean. Get all the crap off there. I'll just spray that with a bit of brake clean. Won't sit that right in there. She'll lock in there otherwise. Right, put this part back where it belongs. Going the right way, sweet. Oh, damn it. Get in there. Fiddly, fiddly, fiddly stuff. There we go, undo that earth. Surprising on how much steel all that. You know, aluminium is actually in these. Uh, this looks like it's got a crack there. This might not be repairable, I just noticed that crack right there. So we'll see what's like inside. Looks like it's going right up into there. I don't know how to do a test on that. That to there. This one down here. It's always a mystery when I'm doing these. But it doesn't look like it's gonna affect it because that's only in the plastic part. It doesn't look like it's been leaking there. More out the seal and the bearing. Now that was up here, wasn't it? Yep. There or there? There, down the bottom. Get it in the right spot, I'll be right. Right, that's there. That wire can stay out of the road. That's that there. Now before we tip it up, We've got to take all this stuff here off so we're not doing it while it's on its face. On its back, I should say. Uh, all the wiring and stuff can stay intact. This one here's got to come off. Just move it aside. Come back to the back. Undo this, get this bar right out of the road. Oh, I just dropped that. Retrieve it, here we are. Going through the hole, the way I'll know I've got to put it back. That's there, pair of pliers. Got a screw in the mouth so I don't lose it, because I've got to put it back here. Pair of pliers, push that down inside. Done. That's that bar. Oh, I've got another one here. Here. This bar goes, this screw goes in there. Into there. Has that got a left and a right? We'll ma mark that. Grab a texture. That one there. Doesn't really matter, I don't think, but I'm going to put it that way. So we'll go front. And B for back. And we'll go an L.
don't think it matters, but it's the way I'm doing this one. Undo this, make sure I don't lose the bloody thing again. Put that around that. Same as this one. We may have to undo some wires there. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and just undo the clips here and all the wiring there, so I don't have to worry too much about it it's still hanging onto that control board. Definitely got to get that control board completely out of the road. Right, undo the screws. Put them on the bench for a bit. Bit of fiddling around here to do. That one there. Does that go into the plastic? It doesn't. Right, put it back in. It goes into that. That one there. That's out of that. That's out of that. Turn him over. Probably put this back different when I go to put it in. So, like I said, document everything. Can never go wrong. Turn it over. Especially if you're not familiar with the thing. Well, I'm not familiar with it, so that's why I'm doing it. First time I've had one of these combo ones. It's always just been a wash machine. That's that one done. Right. Kit two and I reckon, I reckon we leave all this at the back, start into this front piece, get it all sorted out. We should be able to disconnect here, hopefully, before we unscrew anything. There it is. There it is. Come on. Come apart. Right here. Screwdriver under. Thinks that's how it's supposed to be. Yep. There we go. Nothing broken. Up and over. I haven't got all the proper tools, so I'm just using what I got. And that's the thing, you know. If you haven't got the tools, just use what you got. Might take longer, but just take care with what you do. There we go, that wire's out of the road. That one is out of the road for sure. We should be able to leave that on the door seal. So, did I grab those? I did. That to there. That one can cut off there. Give that a twist. That's off there. Leave that one on the door seal. Making sure where we're going here. They can stay all connected. Take this one off back here. Oh, I wonder if I could take it off there. Might be easier. Give it a twist. Grab that and give it a twist. No, nope. probably easier back there. There we go, that's off there. Let it dribble down there. 
Hopefully all that will come off in one. Cross some fingers. I think it's only a matter of undoing all of this fan stuff and undoing all of these screws. We won't know until we go through it. That's what it's all about. Going through as we go. That can all stay intact. That just slides out of there. Come on. You just slide out. I can see you just slide out of there. Now come on. Do what I want you to do. There we go. That'll just come out. That's got some water in it. Oh, it's got a heater core, so naturally it would. Uh, now we'll get around to doing that so we can flip that over. And when we go to tip it up on its back, we'll put all this stuff, all the stuff that's hanging over the back, back in here. Did I put screws back? No, I didn't. Getting ahead of myself here. There was one screw that went in there. Did I put that back? Yes, I did. Didn't put these two back. There's three here. Why have I got three? Why have I got three? Damn. You'd be telling me where it goes, won't you? Now I've got to find it. One went in there. I know where it went. Sounds a bit bit like I didn't know what I was doing there. This one went in there. That's right. See? Good old memory lapse. Got ahead of myself. That's all it was. Just got ahead of myself. Sit that there. Don't need to disconnect nothing. Uh, now we'll get to and finish this off. Oops. That there. Probably the thing that takes the longest to put the screws back in where they belong. Oh, bugger. Certainly buggered myself there, didn't I? One screw by the looks of it. No, this should come out. That goes to there. Jeez, that's grotty. Sit that there. There's another screw in here. I've done that, that many of these front loads. I will, you lose track of where you're up to on a lot of it. I might go here. That front panel should just come off. Those three screws go together. Those two go into the top. Flathead. There's a couple of clips here, so we're just going to lift them up. them up or lift them down. I'm not sure myself. That's one. That's two. Three. Four. They lift up. That's off. And we should be able to come out. Undo that. That is free. Freeze a bird. Sit right there. Parts are stacking. They're stacking up. Um, I better just hold off on that. I know one screw goes back in here. So we'll put it back in here. Or does it, does it go in there? Can't see where it went. Way up the far there. In there. Loose screws, nothing worse. Right, we'll get to and take all this top front piece off. Wrong way, son. Right, we know all those screws are the same. She looks stainless steely, but she's not. I guarantee it's not. Bet your magnet sticks to it. See? True stainless, a magnet won't stick to. Alright, that's that. Just going to have a little bit of pile of screws there. For a little bit. 
hoping that this, well it shouldn't fall out because it's held by the rubber. Like I said, we've got to get to and do all that too. But I've got to get this out of the road as well. So that's what I'm doing. That to there. That there. A couple of... I'm going to get a pair of flat nose pliers. Not, not flat nose, pointy nose pliers. Make it easier on these things. On these plastic clips. That does make it a lot easier. That one can stay. That one's got to come out. Okay. That's that. Now we can put some of those back. There wasn't one there. There wasn't one there. There was one there, one there. So I've put that other one in the wrong spot over there. Yes, we've got to bring that back. Put some into this. One was there. See that? Another one was there. One, two, one, two. We got three, because that one don't belong. So we got one, two, three, six. That don't go in there, that don't go there. Got one there, got one there. Doesn't go there. Why have I got three? One, two, I'm one extra. Don't know what's going on there. I'll work it out as I go, I reckon. Going too quick for your own good. Alright, we're going to undo that, but not straight away. Like I said, I've got to find out where these screws go. One there, one there. Cross-referencing that one. Oh, there does. There is one that goes down to there. I can see that there. That was there. That was there. Oh, that's that there. That there. That one's in. So it's only one, two. That's it. Why have I got an extra? Hmm. Actually, I'm short. Short one. Oh, it's actually short one. Was I supposed to put one in there? That's one of those. I'm actually short one. Why? Didn't fall on the ground. Anyway, we'll continue. If it comes down to the crunch, I'll have to find one. We'll just continue, because I know that I've got to put some back into here. That shouldn't have come off yet, but it has. So we'll continue on here. Uh, best to take it off down there that way it's completely out of the road flip that the other way there we go they can come completely right off now it's up and out of the road Right, better get stuck into this part here, I reckon. I've got another another rubber there that it's got to come off. That goes way out to the filter out there. Right, so what do we got to do? What do we have to do here? Like I said, I've never done one of these, so it's all it's all a first for me. <coughs> that could stay all intact, all that black part. I reckon we just take this off here. That goes right around that. Do that part first. Hang on to the screw, son. That should be good enough. Shouldn't need any more than that. That'll release it anyway. Leave that intact. Take that piece off there I'm hoping this is how it will work uh, 
fan down there. Cross some fingers here everywhere. Push them to there, get that me new pile. I may be able to know I can't, I can't disconnect it back further. So time for photograph again. <laughs> Go there. Pull them out of me road, come this side. Yeah, we know where we're going now. Because I've got to undo all of these clips and the wires and all that too, so pull that off there. Lay that down, we're not gonna hurt it. Won't fall then. Well that could actually stay on that. That goes into there and then they're back around to that, so that one can stay on there. Yeah, we're only going to take that red off. That to there, that blue's off. That's all that bottom harness. It's all harnessed into one. That can be popped out of there. that out of there. Needs a good clean anyway. That's your thermostat for the dryer section. Well that's what it looks like to me. Right. Did I do all of those around there? No I didn't. I could actually take the whole drum out in one go, but it's a bit heavy. If I can do it while it's all sitting like this, a lot easier. That's that. That's definitely that. That's definitely working. The way we need it to work, the way it all comes apart. Ah, uh, what was I grabbing these for? This here. Can't get my finger in there. There we go, get the wire out of the road. This should be free. It's free back there. What's held up here? That's loose. Should come out of that rubber. go and that's out of there that's got to be pulled apart anyway and be cleaned to get rid of all the lint uh, we better grab our screws out of that before I lose them one there one there no, it doesn't matter which way I turn that I'm not gonna lose no screws put all them back bit more involved with this one than say a normal front loader and stuff like that so as I'm working that out as I go you know it's just one of those that I've never done like I keep telling you but once I take the front off it's gonna be so easy because I've already taken the motor off and all of that um, yeah just gonna be so easy we had four of those didn't we one two three four yes that into that because I've got to take this plate off well, I don't need to I can just take it off there unless there's a bolt under there there may not be that's to split the drum so I know I've got to split it Could probably leave the door seal on that don't go there that goes down there It's 
that's all of those. That's all of those. Right, we've got to take that off so we can get these clips out. Even though I was saying I might not be able to, I just realised I've got it. <coughs> so we can leave that off completely. There, there is a bolt under it anyway. Right, get that out of the road. <coughs> these back that's that right what do we got to do now we're going to take that hose off there get that one out of the road what have we got there we've got a stop stop valve stop cock or some sort of thing it can stay there Hopefully it stays in there. Let's hope it's moulded. Uh, take that hose off the back over here. Good thing about video recording this, I can always go back and watch the footage. <laughs> if I don't know where things go. Um, we are pretty much done there and there. Another hose over here. Yes, we'll take that one off there. Take the water level sensor hose off there. And then we've got another one over here we're going to take off. That off there. Because we want just the bare drum. That to there. Now I think it's ready to go on its back. Geez, that needs a good clean in there. Oh well. We've got the gurney over there. We'll give it a good wash. So I'll get it up on its back. And I'll bring his back after that. Right. Well, I tell you what. That was a bloody effort and a half trying to get it up there. And the trolley not running away on me. So anyway, we'll get to and take this front piece off. There's a screw in there. We'll take that out of there. This is all a learning curve for me as well as you lot. Now, I did find out while I was tipping that up, I actually seen the marks on the front face of this where these three go. It doesn't take four, it only takes the three. So I'm still in favour of doing it that way. You know, it's, like I said, it's just a learning curve for me, just as well as it is for you. Take that out of there, put that screw straight back. We don't want to lose where that one was. That one goes into there. I haven't even looked at the filter on this. Might have something choked up inside. Might be money. Oh, look at that choke up. Got a lot of dirt and stuff in there. Yuckies. Yuck, what the devil is in that? What a fluff and God knows. That's why I hate these combos. They're just dirty as ever. There's a whole heap of sand and God knows in there, so I'll have to wash that out when I go to clean it. Just do that, because that might leak now that it's had a bit of sand coming through there, so I better not do that up too tight. Now I've got to undo all of this schmozzle. Don't tip over. Looks like this might have been leaking a little bit around there. Let's hope there's no hole and I've got to order a door, one door seal. One of these door seals, estimation. Probably $150 to $200, but even if I've got to order one of those and the bearings, uh, this machine being repaired, probably $500, maybe $600. You know, it's because it's a big machine. Uh, what are we up to? Pulling the door seal out. This one here, that has been stuck there for a while. Come on, out you come. There we go. Up there. Now 
Now we'll pull the lock out. Hope they're not those torque screws. No, they're ordinary screws. Going the wrong way. So if you ever get one of these dry combos, always make sure you, you service it. Really service it. Like if you've got to, take it outside. Get out the gurney. That, like even, it doesn't matter what pressure you put through it. The lower the pressure, the better, because that way you don't tear your rubbers and stuff like that. So we'll close that door up, because that way you can get rid of all this soap scum and yeah, it's just unreal. And you need a green scotch bright to get rid of a lot of that anyway. So you do all of that, you can clean all this up, and you can still leave it together, but just be careful of all your electrics that you, you've got there. There's a screw there, I can't take that off yet. Screw down here. That stops it from raising up. Up to there. Now this is gonna be goddamn heavy, because of that door. Oh, come on. Why are you stopping? I've got to come around this side. This is the heavy side. Heavy side because it doesn't want to move. Why? Come on. Off you come. There we go. Got some weight in that. Oh, straight. Right, we'll turn that around this way. It doesn't fall over and hit, break the glass. That'd be my worst nightmare, that. Breaking that glass. Jesus, a lot of cast alloy in that. So if it doesn't work, you know, if I can't repair it, can't get parts, that sort of thing. That's what I'm more concerned about, if I can't get parts. So we'll continue on now. Oh, that's there, that's right, that's fine. Leave that intact, leave that there. Take our balance bricks out, our concrete. See, it is concrete. Look in there, that's concrete. <laughs> I'm still bewildered by that comment. <laughs> I still laugh about it. No concrete in washing machines and, and dishwashers. Uh, better leave them with that. That. There's different ones here. Get this, put them back where they belong. There was two this side. And one the other side. Now I'm losing it on the ground. Don't move your foot. Oh, buried it in the dirt. It's the only thing about a dirt floor. You drop something, you can't find it. I can't do nothing about the floor here. And they've given us use of the shed. That sort of thing. Off you come, that's that. We might get a bit of tape and tape those to that. That way we know where they go. These ones here we won't need to. We'll just leave them sitting there. And this one here, this is why your washing machines are so heavy, these bloody things. Sit that into there, sit that one up over in there too. But yeah, we'll get some tape for that later. Ah, so what are we up to now? <coughs> right, yeah, we can the fuff in the mouth. <laughs> Yuckies. <laughs> um, I reckon I take that one off there, that one off there. Better take a photo of where they go before I do, or would it be easier? No, not that side wouldn't be. That one would be. Yes, no, no, it'd be easier down here. Right, 
more documentation clicky clicky it's only so I know which way the hoses go so that I'm not getting them confused plane taken off in the distance here at Roaring we're not far from the L airport here Five thirty in the morning is here here at planes taking off and landing and god knows what. That's that one loose. That's off. Because that stays with the door seal that one. So does this one. So we will have to No, we won't have to. We can leave that all intact with the door seal. Yeah, same as that. That one looks like it's been leaking. So I'll probably replace that seal. Get out of their camera. Right, that's all disconnected there. I've got to take that off of there. We need that and that. We need to get down here. Oh, yeah, that one there. Oh, actually, we need a hammer. A hammer, 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 hammer over here. This one will do. Flat punch would be better. Screwdrivers at hand. That's what I've got in my hand. All right. Do the back one while I'm here too. I can't quite get at that, but I might be able to push that down, get it out of the road. Put that back in there. That way we know where it goes. Do the same with this one. I've got to take this hose off here and there, or Take it off the pump, probably easier. One against two. All right. Screwdrivers at hand, not a flat punch. Should be able to pull that out. Push that down, get it out of the road. Put that one back. Right, do the back one. Where's that one? It's on the opposite side. So we're gonna go up in through here, hit him across. Geez, I'm a bit unco here. I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, get a shifter and I'll turn that. Turn, turn, Molly Grub. Here I am where the movie started, fizzing at a photo they've taken. Space tree flying through the skies and battles happen everywhere. I don't need any hero to save me. I don't know why the kids are always crying. I've been thinking about all the captains, but we left in a wasted planet. Can you feel the spark of city light? Well, I don't want that on that. Anyway, we'll get back to that in a minute. I've spent enough time on that. I can't seem to get that one off. I'll get the hose off. Get this hose off here. Uh, we need the bigger tool for that. Because I want to get to and do this drum. Now this is going to be a pain. No, it's not. Sure, you don't want to hear me complaining. There we go. This one's off. 
off and out of the road. Right, more photography going here. Do another one. Get them out of the road. Get a bit of light going down there. As for the heater core. Ah oh dear, what do we need? We need that for that, do we? No, we've already got one on there. It's only the earth. Only the earth that I've just taken off. Do that. It comes out there. Up there. Off you come. Oh, typical. Can't press the bloody clip in. There we go. That's those out of the road. Uh, side cutters to cut the cable tie. Haven't got those. Cable tie. Oh, that's those wires out of the road. I think we could go around and undo the drum. Take that one out of there. Replace it with this one. Start here. That it? Yep, that's it. Now we've got to get the springs off the top. That one there. Pull this up. It's got a bit of weight in it. Got a fair bit of weight in that berth, I think. Oh dear! How the hell are we going to get them off? Right here, yeah. that's got to be lifted. Hopefully we can, oh, that, that's all as one. It's all as one. We may, may be able to twist it, may not be able to twist it. Don't know. Got to lift it first. The whole thing wants to come at the same time. Bit of foot action in here. Oh, it's truth. Too much foot action. It's a bit hairy this. It needs to go that way before it comes this way. It's all pushed up this way. Might be best to take that computer out. How's that held in? Not sure, can't see. I don't want to be tipping the thing up again. It's jammed up right there. Got some weight in it. Um, because the spring goes through the two halves, that's what I'm concerned about. I may, may be able to get one off. May. Pull that clip out of there. I may be able to get one half off. Pull all these bolts out. Don't lose any. I've already got to go fishing for one. Some of them I might not be able to reach. And a couple I can't reach. We'll get them later. That way they're not interfering with what I'm trying to do. And if I've got to replace the door seal, it looks like it's got the pointer right there, so I've got to take note of that. But I don't think the door seal's been, been uh, damaged in any way. So I've got to undo that one too, like I've done the other side. Gonna try and twist it that way first to get this one off, and then hopefully there's enough, there'll be enough to um, actually, yep. We should be able to do it that way. 
let's rip one off. Let's bring his off. Get them wires out of there. They don't need to be in there. Put that back into there. Like so. Now hopefully we can give that a twist. That's it. Now we should be able to get over that side. And give that a tug. There we go. It's just that little bit. Now we should be able to take the face off. Front part of the drum. There we go. Straight out that way. Where's the rest of these bolts? There's one. Two, because I want to inspect that door seal. No more, no more. Right, get that back up this way. It has not been affected in any way, like rubbing or anything like that. A little bit there, but nothing to really con that really concerns me in a way of needing a new one. Like, there's a bit of the rubber, but that's bugger all comparing to what I have seen. I've seen some of these where this part here is actually all gone. So this one's good. It's good to go. I don't need to get another one of those. Just give that a good old clean up. I might actually take the whole thing off and give it a clean. That way when I go to sell it, I can say that it's been fully cleaned. You can see all the lint and that's in here from when it's actually a dryer. It's unreal. So I have to take that off too. Um, cleaning behind that. That's your heater core. Well, I don't need to take it off, but just give it a good, good old clean. Sit, boo boo, sit. Don't move. Right. This should just slide out because we've already got, hopefully, it'll slide out. No, she's stuck. Already got the motor off the back. She's stuck. Well and truly stuck. And I don't want to tip it up because there's still water in there. So, hmm, oh, that's got a lot of weight in that. I think it's got a balance brick on it too. For it to be as heavy as it is, I've got that feeling it has. Just got that gut feeling. I've got nothing to stand on using the milk crate. Oh, better find one. Call myself a milk crate. Let's see if I can lift this whole thing up. Grab it right, oh dear. Oh dear, we might take it out that way. <coughs> I don't know why I needed the milk crate then. I'm gonna watch it I don't break anything here. We might take that off there so we don't break it. And we'll put it straight back as soon as we get it out. That's your water level sensor. No one may have to break that. $20 item. Down to there. Um, mm, should take that out too. I don't want to be landing it on that. Pardon me. Yeah, we'll take that out. There's only two screws. We'll go up underneath here. Clear it all out of the road. I'm not disconnecting any wires though. Shouldn't have to disconnect any wires. Just got to remove it out of the road. Lay it flat. Get it down low enough. We might just sit those screws on the bench. Right, because it's so goddamn bloody heavy, I've got a feeling there's still a balance brick on it. 
So out it comes through the top. There we go. Gotta watch all the other stuff. It's coming out. I got it. It's free. Don't sit it down. Oh, the milk creek come in handy. Right. Up we go. Up we go. Is there a balance brick on it? Hell no. My God, that's heavy. Oh, tell you what, I'm pooped. Now it can have a pedal. Can certainly have a pedal. Can pedal all lots of wants now. I'll move this out of the road. Right, let's get this behemoth apart. Oh, that's got some weight, I tell you. I'm going to sit it over here, get it off this one. I'm going to turn it upside down. Oh, took it with it. Sweet. Get it up here where we can manage it. I'm going to put the um, faces of this part and that uh, on top of the milk crates. Oh, Jesus. That's the casing, that's the heavy part. It's not going to come out in a hurry. Baron's stuck to it, so we've got to do it this way. I can't not can't grab the bloody thing. There we go. That one under there. That one under there. Check this side. See if we're good. That looks good. That goes into there. Yeah, that's good. Grab our block of timber. Flog the crap out of it. Come now. She's out. Oh, what dropped out there? That little thing. I was hoping that wouldn't fall out. Well, we're finished with that. Or are we? No, we're not finished with that. We're going to get these bearings out. Then we're going to find out. Yes, that come out of there. Right, well, you can go back in there. Yeah, that'll stay, hopefully. Right. That bearing inside is actually shot to shot. Uh, it's taken all the bearing out with the seal so that's going to be a pun the butt to get off the drum let's have a gander jesus casing got some weight on it yes that broke the bearing seal is still on there but she's definitely wore out what do we got in here oh yes damn that bearing's going to be hard to get out of there that has got a crack in that. Doesn't go right through though. That's okay. And that's what happens with these uh, dryer combo thingers, dryer washers. It has sort of scuffed into there, but that's not going to hurt it. Um, yeah, we should be able to get that out of there. We get the back one out and then we can get the front one out. So I'll get to and do that straight away. Uh, we need the bench for that. Damn, that is broke. Where's my scrap bin? Right there. Got to get the number for that. Well, I'll be able to get that off that casing there of that bearing. I may have to get to with a bit of heat. Heat the bearing so it can slide off easy. I've got a bit of heat. So we can do that. And just move that down the road for a second. Got to get myself organised on the bench. Be right back. Get that bottom one out first, the back one. Clear the bench off. Then we'll get into the drum. Well, that one's out. That was easy. Didn't take long. I may already have that bearing. May. It's got a number on it. Can barely see it. I think I've got that one. I know that one's a bugger. She's locked up. Sit that there. All right, we've got to get that one out of there. That is really wedged in there. Sit this up and over. Yep, 
Yeah, that's wedged in there, all right. Here we go. Drop, drop, drop. Get up on this. Well, they're not going to run away. Don't want them going on the ground. Let's pick them up again. Right, now this is going to be the tricky part. I'm going to have to use the cold chisel down inside there to grab it and hit on it. Got to grab the cold chisel, only a small one. This is where I usually hit my hand. Where did it go? There it is. There it is. Now I usually hit my hand with this. Get a bit of milk crate, that one's got a hole in it. Sit that down there. That down into there. Hooray! It's finally out. Finally out. Right, I'll get onto the drum. Let's get some cracking heat into this. Try not to get that seal burning. I may have the bearings, so we've got to try and preserve that seal as much as possible. Only for the numbers, I've got to replace it anyway, so. If it burns a bit, not much I can do about it. Got my pliers ready. As long as I don't put too much heat into that. So just expand it. Go. Oh, come on. Give it a little bit more heat. She's a hottie. She's a hottie. Got that off. Get our seal off. That way we can read the number. Turn this thing off. Over here. Yeah, I've already read that. That's the other side of the bearing. The bear, the inner bearing, where I just got that from. Geez, that's warm. <laughs> uh, is a three uh, six three zero seven dash two RZ. Now the dash two doesn't really matter t so much. Um, it does in a way, but it doesn't. I've been so I've been told. Geez, that bearing that that seal is actually knackered. Where's the number? I hope it hasn't gone. I hope I didn't melt it. Better get a rag. Well, I can take that to the bear in place anyway. They might be able to tell me what size it is and stuff like that. Because it's all rubbed off and it was up there probably. She's been really rubbed. No, I had to heat this side, so I didn't have it on that side, so she's been definitely 
worn away up there, or is that part of it there? There it is, there. Part of it's there. I can barely make that out right there. There's some sort of number or something there by the looks of it. May not be. Might be just where it's been rubbing. But anyway, they can size it up and tell me, okay, what it is and that sort of thing. If not, we'll go from that, I reckon. But anyway, um, I've got to find out what these are going to be and that sort of thing. So um, I have got the bearing, uh, the main bearing that, that I just took off there, that hotty hotty one and the back one. Um, it's just the seal I'm more concerned about. So I've got to find out what it's going to cost me, that sort of thing. So anyway, if you've liked tagging along me, with me on this one, everyone, pulling this big behemoth apart, tell you what bit of a waste going to the scrap but anyway that's the way things sometimes work you don't know whether you can fix them you don't know whether they're going to be scrap so you got to pull it this far apart to find out whether they're going to be scrap so anyway like i was trying to say if you've come this far don't forget to like and subscribe and if you do subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell that way you get notified when we put a new video out so till next time everyone happy dumpster diving happy scrapping and i'll see you in the next one cheerio